had Freddie four years ago, who was born, as far as we were concerned, healthy, but after four weeks we realised he wasn't very well, he was jaundiced. So we started having some tests, and um, from there we've spent practically the last four years in and out of hospital with Freddie. I came down with a, a Guillain Barre syndrome be about a year ago now. Uh, so I'm currently in rehabilitation and physio. I got told that I would be in section of the Mental Health Act. Uh, I came to a hospital in 2011 from prison um, on the medium secure unit. Oh, I've been in the Sid Watkins building since around uh, December. I remember when I first came over, I was um, there was a lot of apprehension. I really didn't want to come here. I thought I was quite settled in where I was at home. I had friends and family coming to visit me every, every day, almost. Within a, a few weeks, I uh, completely come around. The idea of being away from home was a small price to pay for the wonderful professional uh, care that I, I, I get here on a daily basis. From him being born um, to six months old, he had tests, and he was diagnosed with allergy syndrome at six months old which is a rare and chronic liver and heart disease. At three years old, five days after his third birthday, he had a liver transplant. And then um, at three and a half years old, he had his first open heart surgery. More recently, just in March this year, he had um, a huge open heart surgery, which should have been nine hours and actually turned out to be 16 hours. At first it was nerve-wracking because I thought I would be in a straitjacket um, and I was panicking but then I just like knuckled my head down talking to staff. They're not judgmental, they sit down with you even if you've had a bad day, even if you've like been confrontational with that person, they don't hold, they're not judging you, they're just saying look I understand. The difference it's made, it's made me more Give me a lot of confidence to speak up and getting the treatment and receiving the treatment and not getting into a life of offending or a life of um, being unwell. When I think back to when I became, first became ill and the idea that I could be where I am today without the NHS, it, it, just, it just doesn't, it doesn't seem possible. We're so humbled by every person individually that has cared for Freddie because it has been life or death situations with him. Saving his life saves our lives and an entire family's because he's our baby. I do some voluntary work in the community. I see in the scheme called Safety in Town. I, I signed our local village up in Warley and it's for people with learning disability, mental health or any hate crime. I won an award uh, at the National Service User Awards in um, Old Trafford. Uh, just... If the NHS wasn't here, um, I probably would have been in and out of prison um, for the rest of my life. If I could say one thing to, to everybody that's looked after me in the last, last year or so, it would, wouldn't be original, but it would be thank you. Just, just thank you so much for your, uh, your patience and your compassion and uh, your professionalism. It's been made so much easier by the people uh, that have been around me through this entire thing. Uh, so thank you. What I'd like to say to the staff and, uh, in this organisation is thank you for being very supportive and helping me and hopefully maybe when I do get discharged soon I can come back and say to the staff, thank you. We would like to thank everybody that is part of the NHS. Um, we've experienced firsthand the hard work and dedication you've put into families like ours. And ultimately, our little boy's life has been saved by you all and by what you all do. So thank you so much. <laughs>